Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, like I said yesterday, I am going to go through my everyday makeup routine. Um, basically, I'm not going to do it on my face or anything today, not like a tutorial or anything. I'm just going to kind of walk through what I use. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, so first of all, a little trick that I actually posted yesterday on my Facebook and Instagram is so before I put on my foundation after right after my, my moisturizer I not right after I let my moisturizer set for about 10 minutes um, and then I put on my setting powder which um, this is what I use which is what I actually put I actually showed this in my QVC haul uh, but this is the Josie Marin luminous hydrating liquid powder which is awesome. It goes on so smooth. It's very hydrating. It actually has like a cooling effect when you put it on your skin, which is, I think is awesome. So you use this and then you'll go in with your foundation, whatever your foundation may be. Mine is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. This is the foundation fluid. So this is a little bit more, I don't want to call it watery, but it is a fluid. It's not a thick foundation. It's a very, um, it's a very thin, more, li uh, it's a liquidy foundation um, but I am in the color supernatural and I love this foundation it is buildable very buildable you can get a sheer coverage to a, the highest um, uh, full coverage so I love this foundation it is great and with, with the setting powder underneath it and on top of it it's great I mean literally locks in your makeup it's so good when you do this trick so like I said setting powder first then foundation then I will take um, after that what I will do is I will take a highlighting brush and I will take the setting powder underneath my eyes to set my concealer which um, my concealer that I use is the Josie Marin Argon creamy concealer stick actually it says crayon on a stick but whatever uh, this is in fair which I need fair because I am like as white as snow <laughs> I'm as pale as snow so um definitely fair it's the lightest color they have in the Josie Marin uh, concealer stick so um and then I cover I conceal it with the setting powder and then I will take my setting powder and get a big powder brush and buff it all over my face um, to set in my foundation even better so it's literally like gluing your foundation to your skin but it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't crease, it doesn't look powdery. Um, a lot of people might think that it might make them look like they're wearing a mask. It doesn't do that. Literally, my face, like my skin and my makeup just looks so good. And it lasts literally all day long. Like all even like yesterday I took a nap <laughs> and I woke up and my my, fa my like foundation and my skin just looks still like just good you know just like flawless so it blurs your pores it blurs any imperfections you may have it's just a great trick so uh so i went through my foundation my setting powder and my concealer uh the next thing that i do is my contour so this is the elf cream contour palette which you can find at target i will link everything below here um this i will show you what it looks like obviously you can see i use that color the most <laughs> for my contour so what I do basically is I take a actual concealer brush from my uh, Sigma collection, which I will actually do a video on my brushes as well a little bit later. Um, but what I'll do is I will take it and I will kind of do a line here, do a line here, and then do like around my uh, my hairline. I'm not really crazy about doing like everything else. Like I feel like I don't really need it. Um, I'm not really that into it. Uh, but that's what I do contour. So, um, and it's really easy to blend. Um, I use my Real Techniques blend, uh, blending sponge, which is awesome, you guys. If you don't have a blending sponge, go get one. I wouldn't recommend the, the Beauty Blender. I, I've never used one, but it's $20 compared to the Real Techniques one, which you can get two for 20. Or not for two for 20, you can get two for 10. I'm sorry, at Target. I think it's 10 or 11. I'll have to link it below. But regardless, it's two for like the half, you know, for half price off of the Beauty Blender. So kind of common sense there. But and it works great. I love it. It's, I, I, I use it for my foundation. I use it for my concealer and my contour. So... I love it. And my highlight, if I use like a liquid highlight, and my blush too, if I use a liquid blush. Anything I basically use a liquid or a cream, I'll use it because it blends so well. So then after my contour, I do the highlight. So right now what I've been using is the Becca Cosmetics um, Skin Perfecting, what is this called? 
the Shimmering Skin Perfector. That's what it's called. <laughs> uh, this is an opal. So this is a good one. This is just like a cream highlight. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of dab it on my uh, cheekbones. And then I'll blend it with my Real Technique sponge. And then if I really want a popping highlight, what I will do is I will take my Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette. Which, well, that's not going to really help, but that's what it looks like. Um, it has, let me see, the colors in here are sunlight, it's a champagne gold, um, filtered light, which is a matte sand, and moonlight, which is a rosy pearl. So I'll show you guys what they kind of look like. Very pretty colors, very pretty. Obviously, I use this one a lot, but I actually like this one better, which is kind of weird, but <laughs> um, they look really good on top of a cream highlight. I mean, you'll, you can see your highlight from outer space, I swear. <laughs> but if you're into that, I love a good highlight. I do. I, I really, really do. I love a good highlight. I'm always looking for, you know, new tips and tricks to use do the highlight. And I actually asked one of another uh, a YouTube uh, uh, beauty blogger, and she was like, I put a cream underneath, and then I, like, literally just douse my brush and just put a, um, a powder on top of it, which, and it works. It works great, but you have to make sure you blend it because I hate when I get like that line of like highlight. I try to avoid that, but I have, I will say I'm a, I'm guilty of it, but, um, but yeah, so I love a highlight. I love a good highlight guys. So <laughs> I'm definitely one of those girls that's like, I need my highlight to be known. So, um, so then what we'll do is we will go into, um, this, uh, Sephora. What is this? The cheek gel. Yeah. Colorful cheek gel ink gel. That's what it's called. So I actually got this in a Sephora box, one of like the subscription box that they actually have. Um, so I got this in there and that's called Peony. That's what it's called. Zero one is the number. So it's just like a really, really nice bubblegum pink that I love. I literally just dab it on my on the apples on my cheeks and blend it in with my sponge. So and then what do we have guys? Then we have eyeshadow. So eyeshadow. I love the Morphe brushes palette. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette, so this is sold out. It came out two or three years ago in April. I can't remember. <sighs> I want to say it was two years ago. I'm pretty sure it was two years ago. I pre-ordered it and got this baby because it is so pretty. And of course, I like Jaclyn Hill, so I was like, anything she puts out, I want. But that's what it looks like, and these colors are so pretty, and they're so blendable, you guys. I am so used to the Morphe palette that I actually bought a Tarte eyeshadow palette and I won't use it because it's like not as blendable as the Morphe. So I'm like, I just don't want it. Like, I, I don't want to use it because it literally just like, it's so patchy to me. So the Morphe is awesome, you guys. If you guys don't know what Morphe is, if you guys haven't gotten a Morphe palette, buy yourself one. They're like, third. I think, I don't want to say how much they are, but I think this one in particular was 35 So, and that's a pretty good deal. I mean, I've had this for two years and I haven't even touched ha more than half the colors. So... Um, it's a great palette, I'm telling you, and, like, the colors are awesome. They're, I mean, they're so pigmented. They're just great. I could, I literally go on and on about Morphe brushes. Their brushes are awesome, too. Like I said, I will do a brush, um, video as well later in the future. So then we will go in with my eyeliner. So the eyeliner is the Maybelline New York uh, Master Precise by Eye Studio in the color black. So this is actually in my... I would not repurchase. <laughs> um, I still use it. I would not repurchase it, but I still do use it because it's the only, only eyeliner that I have. And I spent the money on it. I can deal with it right now. I just want to repurchase it. So it's like a felt tip. I'm going to show you guys that. There we go. Um, and then, yeah, it's not like, it's not a pencil. It's not a marker. Well, it kind of is like a marker. It's like a felt tip uh, marker, but it's just... <sighs> It's very, it is precise, and that's what it says, master precise, which it is very precise. And I like a good, just eyeliner pencil, which I will tell you guys, my favorite eyeliner pencil, and I don't even know if they make it anymore, is the, uh, the Kardashian Beauty. Black eyeliner, I think it was called, was it called Raven? I think, I don't remember, but I used to buy it all the time, and it literally did not move, you guys. I loved it, and I, I, I have not been able to buy it, because... I don't even know if they sell it anymore. 
I'll have to find, but I think usually I got it at Ulta. Ulta or like Meyer had it. Like of all places, like Meyer sold the Kardashian Beauty stuff, which is kind of odd to me. But yeah, I loved it, you guys. I'll see if I can link it actually below. I'll see if they actually still make it. Because if they do, I'm about to go around and get it. Because it's the best. I loved it. Um, and it was, it was very smooth, too. Which, this is the other thing. I feel like if I, like, mess up, like, one, like, little line, I, like, it's done. Like, I'm like, I don't want to do my makeup anymore. Like, I have to redo my whole face. <laughs> but, so. But, enough with my eyeliner. I'll, get, I'll go into my mascara. So, my mascara is from a place called Unique. I'll show you that. comes in this little cute packet, or little package, little uh, bag thing here. Um, so Unique is actually kind of like a Mary Kay type thing where um, consultants sell it. So it's got, you know, you're going to have two tubes. One is a transplanting gel, which is this bigger one, and this is the fibers. So this is a fiber lash mascara. So what you'll do is um, one eye at a time. I cannot stress that enough. One eye at a time. Do not do both eyes at the same time because you're going to dry up your eyelashes and then you're going to have clumpy eyelashes and nobody wants that. So first what you do is you put the transplant gel on your eyelashes and then you'll go in with the fibers. I do two to three layers depending on how I feel it's working. If I feel like I have enough on, I'll stop. If I feel like I can use a little bit more, I'll do more. Just depends. It's good for contacts. It's contact friendly. Um, and um, it's really easy to use. It does take a little bit more time than an actual like regular mascara, but the payout is really good. So I love this mascara. Um, I just actually repurchased it for the second time a little bit ago. Um, I would say a few weeks ago. Um, I forgot how much I loved it. So it's really, really good. Then we will go into my last thing, which is my lipstick. So I'm going to show this. I don't, I rarely wear this, you guys, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway because this is what I'm wearing. So this is what it looks like. And I'll show you guys the, I'll tell you guys the color and the brand and everything. Um, so this is Bare Minerals. And this actually came in a Sephora box as well. This is the Pop of Passion lipstick. And it is called Plumberry Pop, which is very pretty. Um, it goes on uh, more pink than it is in the tube. So I like it a lot. I rarely use it. I've used it a few times, but like I said, I rarely use it. I was just feeling it today, so I put it on. But normally what I use is the ColourPop uh, Matte Lippies, which that's what this is. This is the color Trap, which is so pretty. I actually am wearing this in my Josie Marin QVC haul. So that's what I'm wearing in that video. Um, it's a matte, so obviously it does dry. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that it is the most comfortable to wear, but um, it's it's a long-lasting matte lip. So, And it looks good. Like, it doesn't look bad, I don't think. I don't think it looks bad at all when it's on. So I love them. I have about eight colors. And I'm actually going to do a different video based on them, um, just to show you guys what colors I do have and, you know, the swatches and everything. So... Um, but that's all I have for today, you guys. Um, I'm going to try to do videos, well, post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So let me know what you guys think about that. And then uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share my page. You can share my YouTube channel. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.